Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Tecon DDS CAD. I will address the subject of electrical automation and the topic today is how to set prefuse with and from reference. But first I would like to thank Marco Kobler, the electrical Jedi master from DDS who gave me support. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and don't miss the next videos. Enjoy! For this demonstration, I work on the Electrical Schematics 500 from a newly created project. The reason to work on the Electrical Schematics is that uh, we can directly see the result of what we add on a circuit list and add it in a, in a diagram. In this case, I'll click open and I'll open the, the distribution board where I have previously defined the supply circuit. Now, to, to see the result, to create a diagram in the tab Sheets, I will select this multi-main diagram and select this, double-click this multi-main diagram. Coming back to the circuit list tab, now I will start inserting the, uh, first, a prefuse for group level 2 from the category level 2 protective device on burst bar. Okay, for this category, uh, for this circuit, I will add a main load of 50 ampere for the three phases and click add. For the configuration I set, DDS CAD will filter the, the fuses with the same parameters. So in this case, I will select this first component in the list, which has 50 ampere and also tripled. Click OK. And now I will start adding the prefuse for level two with reference. In this case, I will insert it twice. The first circuit will be uh, a cross reference for socket circuits and the second one for lighting, so uh, lighting circuits. So the first one will be three phases as well. And I will, uh, I will set the main load as 35 ampere and I will click add. In this case, I will select this fuse nose at 35 ampere of three poles. The second one will just have one phase, the first one, and I will set the main load as 30, uh, uh, of 25 ampere. Click add again. Now I will close this dialog so that we can see the result here in the circuit list. So what we see here is that the circuit number three has in the column component two, the reference as E2 and the circuit number 4 has the component 2 reference as E3. If we click OK, the diagram is automatically created and we can see here the circuit number 3 and the circuit number 4. These arrows here indicates the cross reference uh, that are displayed by default. Now I will go back to the distribution board and now we are going to create the reference from uh, the prefuse from reference. So I'll click new and still in a level two protective device on bus bar. First, I will just create this uh, level two via prefuse from reference for the socket circuits. So I will set the three phases and I will let the main load as 35. Click add, select this RCD four pole first on the list, click OK. And this dialog here indicates the reference to existing component. So I should select component that is to be referenced by this. In this case is the E2, which is the circuit three. Now I will just add some uh, socket circuits. So uh, I will select the category installation and I'll come to the socket with protective device. I will set the main load as 16 and I will change the diversity factor as 40%. Uh, percent, 40%. I'll click add and I will do it three times, two and three. Let's just do it the same for the lighting circuits. So I'll come back to the level two protective device on burst bar to select again the level two via prefuse from reference. 
In this case, this is for the lighting uh, protection. So I'll just select one phase, the first phase, and I'll select the main load as 25 ampere. And I will reset the modification factor as 100. Click add, select this first uh, RCD on a list, click OK. And as you can see, the E2 has a asterisk uh, in front of it, indicating that this one has been uh, already, uh, is already in use. This reference is already in use. So I'll select the E3, which is indicated by the circuit number 4. And I'll click OK. And now I can define three or some light, uh, light, uh, lighting circuits. I'll select this uh, light with protective device. I will predefine the, the load as 6 ampere and click add and insert three circuits. As a result on the list, we can easily see the reference, cross reference here from the prefuse with reference and from reference here. Okay? If I click OK, now I already see the from reference, but uh, here on this page we only see from the sockets. So clearly see the difference from the prefuse with reference and from reference, I will select this secret, select again, and when it's selected, I will right mouse click and I can insert page break before circuit. So this will go to the next page. So the first page, we only see the prefuse with, with the reference. And if we go to the next page, we see from reference for the socket circuits and for the lighting circuits. Do you like the subject and want to know more about DDS-CAD? Put your comment below and we get back to you. Cheers!